Hello, my lovely friends. I'm so happy that you join me on another episode of the Euro Cooking Connect. Welcome. On today's segment of Memories of Malta, we're going to be making an old time traditional recipe that maybe a lot of households have forgotten about. It's so delicious. What we're making today is called Hui Ed Motli Bitum. And basically, what that is is a fried liver with garlic. Guys, there's a whole bunch of other beautiful flavors that go in here. And if you're not a fan of liver, you shall be once you've tried this recipe. So guys, without further ado, let's go into my kitchen and make this beautiful old time recipe. <laughs> Welcome to the kitchen countertop. So what I have in my bowl here is my liver, which I've washed and gotten rid of most of the butt. I mean, it's impossible to get rid of all of it, but if you want most of it, um, just wash to make sure your liver is clean. I've asked my butcher to slice my liver thinly. However, if you like your stick, it's up to you. What we're gonna do before we start is get this marinated. I know this might sound odd to some, but I like to soak my liver in milk. Yes, milk. Why? Because it makes your liver spoon tender. Remember that liver when you were a kid that was like eating a sandal? This won't happen. So just liberally add some milk and to which I'm going to add some bay leaves. And we're going to mix this and let this stand for about a half hour to an hour. If you've had more time, let it go further. Guys, traditionally, Hui Ad Motli Bitum was made with pork liver. I'm going to be honest with you, I'm not a huge fan of pork liver, so I'm using beef liver. But use whatever liver you want, be it pork, beef, veal, lamb, it's completely up to you. While your liver is marinating in the milk, roughly chop your garlic and get out some more bay leaves. Heat some vegetable oil and olive oil in a pan. Add your garlic. Fresh bay leaves. And a few bay leaves from the marinade. You're going to lightly toast the garlic without burning it. Then you'll remove it and set aside. Once the garlic starts to get toasty, take it out before it burns, along with the bay leaves. You're basically doing this so you infuse the oil with the garlic flavor. Remove as much as the marinade as you can from the liver, season with salt, cracked black pepper, a little bit of garlic granules and you're going to repeat this on the other side guys. We're going to now want to lightly fry our liver. Do not fry too long. If your liver is thin, you do not have to cook this very long. You just want to cook it until the blood comes out a little bit on the top. It's very quick, guys. Continue with all of your pieces of liver. Guys, your liver should be very soft and supple. No effort to cut it whatsoever. Mm. It's so soft it melts in your mouth. 
continue with all your liquor. Now go ahead and add a sliced onion to your pan. Nothing better than the red onions and garlic, guys. All right, gang, our onions have slowly, slowly cooked until they've got beautifully caramelized. At which point, you go ahead and add back in your reserved garlic and bay leaves. Turn up the heat slightly. And then what you can do, optionally, is go ahead and add some capers, kapar. These are my pickled capers, guys. It adds a lovely salty and Mediterranean element to the dish. Again, alternatively, go ahead and add some cherry tomatoes. Turn up your heat and get a bit of a cook on the tomatoes. And I'll show you what we do next to finish off this amazing sauce. At that point now, you can remove your bay leaves. And what you can do is carefully add back any juices from your liver. And then the secret ingredient that makes this recipe so special is we're going to deglaze this pan with a bit of red wine vinegar. Vinegar and liver go very, very well together, guys. Deglaze this until the liquid has become thick. All right, gang, it's time to plate up. So we have our beautiful liver, which is soft and tender, and I kept a little bit warm um, in the oven. Um, you don't have to because the sauce is quite hot um, as it's still cooking on the side there. So go ahead and place as many pieces of liver as you like on your platter. And then what we're going to go ahead and do is we're going to dress our plate. Over here we have our beautiful sauce. The tomatoes have wilted a bit, charred, they're absolutely gorgeous. So let's go ahead and place some tomatoes. They're split, they're sweet, they're so gorgeous. Guys, you have salty, you have garlicky, you have sweet. Hard. What's not to love about this? Whoop, stray. <laughs> and then we have our beautiful, gorgeous garlic, bay leaf, and onion caper sauce with the vinegar that we're going to just place on top like so. Absolutely stunning. Like, oh, I can't wait to eat this. Of course, I've made a mess. Don't do that. Guys, I've made a side of patata il forno. Um, I have a video on this, and I hope you shall watch that as well, and I shall put the link below and at the end of the video. Guys, we're all done. Our Maltese liver dish is stunning and beautiful. Please like, please subscribe, share, 
Guys, I'm almost at a thousand subscribers and I really need your help. Um, guys, there'll be a couple of photos at the end. My Facebook page, as usual, will be below. And thank you so much. Grazie, Hafner, for watching Memories of Malta. Ciao, ciao.